Another one of the cool things that comes along with the international object that was added to JavaScript is the ability to format dates and times. So I have a simple example here. I'm creating a variable called today. I'm putting a new date object into that variable. And then from that variable, I'm going to be able to write out a date that's formatted based on the locale. So we have our international object, new international date time format. This is the object that we're creating right here. So inside the international object, there's a method called date time format. This constructs the new international date object. So we can then call the format method and pass in the date. So this is the timestamp being passed in for this time. It will be formatted. And then you can specify either a language or a language in a country code. I've got uh, English US, English Canadian, uh, English Great Britain, German, Arabic, and then you can also pass in a list of possible formats. And then if one is not supported, it falls back to the second one. So we have all these different versions and I'm writing them out down below here. And this is what happens in the page. So here's the English US month, day, year. Here's the Canadian default format, which is year, month, day, with hyphens between them. The British method, which is day, month, year, with forward slashes between them. I believe this is the ISO International uh, Standard as well. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. Um, oh, wait, no, sorry. It's year, month, day is the, uh, the International Standard. And then the German format. And you can, if you want, you can add the country in here. So we can say Deutsch, Deutschland. There we go. Same format. That's the default for German. And then Arabic. And then Arabic or Swedish. Well, we have the fallback here. Swedish, which is not showing up. So let's do it the other way around. Let's put in Svensk. How to be. Oh, yes, can't use the same variable twice, can we? Uh, let's call this one XX instead. Because we're doing a choice. There we go. All right, so here we have the Arabic, Arabic again, and then the Swedish. So that's it. That's all there is to it. It's the international object, has a date time format method. This is the constructor. We're creating a new one of these objects, and then we're calling its format method and passing in a date object. Then this will give us the formatted date. So if you're getting your data from a JSON or an XML file that's coming from the server, you can now format those based on the locale on the page. And remember, you can always go into any element, any tag on any web page, and there is a lang attribute, and you can specify for this element, I'm doing this locale. So Swedish in Sverige. There we are. And you can style this. You can add CSS that will style these different things. And you can then target these things as well with document.query selector. You find the appropriate one and then you stick in the date formatted in the correct way. Uh, let's do one example here very quickly. Let's put this uh, Swedish one into here. So we could say document.query selector. And I want a paragraph that has the lang attribute set to sv sv. And its text content will be equal to the variable sv. There we are. So the Swedish date showing up in the Swedish paragraph. And we can do the Canadian one in here as well. Actually, we should do a different one so they're not both the same. Okay, let's do the ENUS. There we are. So we've got the uh, American version of the date and the Swedish version of the date showing up inside of there. Zoom in so you can see that a bit better. Oh, it's my CSS is using a calculation to figure out how big to display those. Okay. So P 
font size 2 rem there we go much bigger so we can see it and then you can in the css use the same selector that we were using down here so if i wanted to say lang equals uh, en dash us color is red and p lang equals sv dash sv color uh, well gold is close enough okay so there we are that's how you can use the international object to format dates and times hope you find that useful if you did please share it with other people if you have any questions leave them down below and as always thanks for watching